Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm joined by a special guest, a follower on Instagram, a follower on YouTube, um, plays in the local area. I'm joined by Mr. Greg Reed, who currently is a plus one handicap. Not every day, not every day. We'll <laughs> see today. So Greg's going to go out and show me a lesson today. We'll try, we'll try. <laughs> We're out on the Swale End course. Uh, sun shining. Typical Aberdeen, still windy. Still, still windy, <laughs> but we're gonna go out and have a good, a good time. So, what are you doing here? What's four the... wood, so four wood here. Because I'm gonna ask you a few times around the course. Playing off plus one, course management is a big issue for amateur golfers. So, so, so we'll get a running commentary for you. For, for me here, hopefully a slight draw if I don't block it right. But the th the three trees on the hill, yeah, that's kind of the start line, and just with a, a slight draw from there, and that should bring it back round towards the bunker and give me a flat lie. Good, it's quite a tough hole to get a flat lie, yeah. on, isn't it? I thought you you um, plus handicap just went for the green. <laughs> see, on or, on or it was downwind, I guess. But yeah, um, yeah, we'll see if we can get it down there somewhere. Slight just, draw, just on those trees. Not coming yeah, up. it's absolutely perfect though. Go left, mate. There we go. Yeah, great shot. Yeah, so I'm just trying to find the middle of the fairway. So what's your line here, Ross? Just straight down. Driver's not been behaving, so just at the dead trees in the middle. Okay. And hopefully pull it around a little bit from there. Great strike. Just down there. Yeah, very good. Good kick as well. Yeah, it's down the middle. Take that's them too. That's the main thing. We'll take them too. A good position for both of us. So what's the plan? I think it's going to have to be a going to be firm. It feels firm here. So I think we're going to look at maybe land short front edge right. And try and check it up from there, I think. A pitching wedge. Just to get it to try and run out. So you land it short of the green? I land it perhaps just right on the apron of the green. Yeah. It should maybe take a couple of one one full bounce and then roll out from there, hopefully. The line's probably the shadow of the flag, I think. Yeah. Kick up. It's okay though. Average. Middle of the green. It's a chance. Here is, I'm just that little bit sh too close, I think. So I'm going to hit a eight iron, land it short, and just try and let it roll up. Similar kind of line, it looks, doesn't it? Yeah. A great first bounce. Slow Staying down. Out, right on that shadow of the flag. Yeah, tidy. Yeah, so see, so take the wedge out of it. it. For me, it just creates less. Yeah, there's less risk. Yeah. I think what in this loop to be in, right? Straight up the hill. If you get it rolling, that's half the battle. Birdie. Run out, run out. Yeah, what a putt. There she goes. Everyone seems to do that to me on this channel, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Everybody seems to do that to me. <clears throat> Great birdie. Don't think there's much in this either, but I've left myself downhill. Maybe just a, a little slippery one. Yeah.
for the first part of the day it's not an ideal one that's for sure yeah nah, that was a slippery one right enough yeah just on the lower side tap it in for four yeah good easy four though easy four <sighs> I expect that your line is probably over the top of that bunker on the right hand side. And it is, it yeah. In, in, in fact, the uh, electricity pylon way in the distance is yeah. probably. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera or not. But it's, really, but it's what maybe five yards in from the right of the right edge of the bunker. Yeah, something like that. Winds off the right as well of what there is now. Yeah, just an absolute thing of beauty. Absolute joy to watch. Right down the middle. Take that all day long. So you must find that, I come in here. It's a bit longer than Ellen, eh? Uh, yeah, it's it's probably akin to the front nine, Ellen. Yeah. Ellen's a lovely track, though. Right. So are we straight down the middle? Yeah. Ball slightly back and ah. just tailing away the right. Yeah, it's bit. just drifting a bit, but it'll be okay. That's all right. It's missed all the trouble. Needs to stop though. Now. Needs to stop. Couple of choices here. Yeah, and I go over the top, which I think is probably going to be the right choice. Probably not going to get there, but if I can throw a nine iron up over the top of there. Yeah, there's room to do that. Yeah, well played. Well played. Probably a bit too far left, but I'll be fine. Went right through that line nicely there. And Greg's got 154 to the middle. You got an eight iron in hand? Yeah, I think the flag's quite near the back there, Russell, is it? Is that, that's beyond me. Yeah, blue it? flag, blue pin um, is at the back. Drawing round. Be the club. Yeah. Just the front of the green. Yeah, just a little hung in the wind a little Safe bit. Safe on the second though. I'm just gonna try and throw a 60 at it. About 50 yards, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's safely aboard yeah. to the right level as well. Hopefully, it stopped. And Greg's got a long birdie putt. Take two putts from here all day long. Got to go up the hill and then down towards the hole. Uphill, then downhill, then left to right, I think. And uh, not an easy putt. Hold your line. It's a great effort though. Oh, Just kept going. Goodness me. Just kept going. A sprinkler heading away, but surprised mine didn't stop. Lovely pace. Yeah, really good pace. Really good pace. Could be you for want a half. spot on that? Could be for a no, it's okay. Yeah. This could be for a half. Aye, could be. It's <laughs> me. Could be. Par putt. Greens are running. The greens are actually running really quick. They're good. Oh, it slid away. That's a three putt. Yeah, well enough. 
That's for a five, net four. Well done. We up and down from there. Cued up and down. All right, so back to all square. Greg on the tee, par five. Edge. edge Dog leg left. Edge of the fairways, kind of the line here, I think. Wind's totally gone. See a good one. Ah, Just leaked it a bit to the right. Leaked that one. You okay though? It's wide open. Up wide there, open. Sure. Just try and squeeze one up the middle. Yeah, good ball. Uh, it's fine. Up the middle. A second shot for Greg is par five. Found a rough it's off a the long, tee. It's a long way, 300 to the green. Yeah, here, so, so I mean, my plan here would probably be if it was me, I'd be hitting a five iron down or something or a hybrid. It's a four hybrid for me. Just to try and get it down there. Just get it down somewhere on the on the fairway. Ball miles above the feet, so it should go left. Yeah, perfect. So is that a problem you find, Martin, with mid to high handicappers, is that they end up like this in a yeah. plus five and they pull something out. They'll that... try and get three wood, or even because that's sitting up, yeah. they might even try and, some guys will even try and get a driver out, just think, oh, 300 yards, I need to yeah. get it as far down there. When in actual fact, if you hit something 200 yards, you leave yourself 100 yard in. Even 150, it's 250s, you know? So yeah. If got two seven irons for you, it's par five. Yeah. For me, this is just a five iron, just to knock it down. Yeah, straight down there. Right I, can't, the I haven't got the distance to reach, so. Let's nudge a five iron down. Or do that, but I'll Go get away with it. It's coming back down off That'll the hill. be fine. You all right there? Terrible shot, but. Help. Review coming out on this rangefinder short like it was sent to me to review. The retail price of it's incredible. One twelve. One twelve. Greg, what do you pay for a rangefinder normally? The north you are looking three, three hundred and fifty pounds for a you know a, a big brand one. So for what those ones are are retailing at. Eighty pound. Unbelievable. Eighty pound. All right, 112, it's got a little pitching wedge. It's slightly into the wind, ever so slightly. Well picked up off a downhill lie, it's right at it. Yeah, good. Yeah. Right in the heart of the green there. One and three. Greg's not exactly what he said he was going to do. He's laid up to about 100 yards. It's 81 to the front, so okay. probably 90 yards, something like that. Yeah, so I had 112 to the pin. So I'm assuming you've probably got 54, maybe? It's a 52. Just 52. To, I'll just try and keep it under that little breeze a little bit, maybe. It's all over it. Just held oh, up in the wind a little bit, just a little up. bit short. Great line though, great line. Right. Just a touchy short. I'm Greg, it held up it's in the wind a little landed bit. landed here and bounced back. Held up in the wind a little bit, but... Plus one handicapper, I'll be putting this close. Bobbled a bit on you. Not look, bad. Look good in the air. Not bad. 
You can have that, to be fair. Oh, we'll have that one? Yeah, you can have that. It's all about the pace, this one, isn't it? Yeah. No, I just haven't hit it. Wobbling along. Hit the line. Not bad, it's just out of gimme range. Needed harder hit, but... Yeah, we'll hold. Uh, easy five. Course management. <laughs> Course management. A half, all square. All square through three. All square through three. Holding my own. Holding your own. Comfortably <laughs> holding your own.